Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles The Cowbung Collection has a release date of August 30th? <laughs> Too late, we're in. Uh, <laughs> Okay, that, that's freaking that awesome. That was awesome. That was yeah. awesome. <laughs> oh yeah. I, I got to see this firsthand right here. I checked out the Cowbunga collection with Pixel Dan and Pat the NES Punk. I got to play part of this at San Diego Comic-Con and it is so awesome. Not only are there 13 games on this thing, they also have the Japanese versions of these games, arcade games, Nintendo games, Super Nintendo games, Sega Genesis games, and even Game Boy games. Pretty awesome. So here's our here's our UI, which makes uh, heavy use of the Eastman and Laird comics in the That's back. That's really nice. Yeah. That's awesome. Um, and uh, you can actually press the X button to change region. And then when you do that, everything changes. You get the Japanese art, the Japanese titles of the games, you get the, um, the, the translated. So, in Japan, uh, Tournament Fighters for the SNES was called Mutant Warriors. So again, it shows up like that. There are differences. When you press the minus That's button, perfect. you bring up the enhancements menu. So for this game, you can take away the slowdown and the sprite flicker if you want to. But like right now it's in like, I guess you would call it pixel perfect mode. Right, and then you can expand it to fill the screen. You can have it in widescreen mode. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why you would do it, but you can, <laughs> but it's there. Some, man, I don't know. Some people, they want the, everything to fill the screen. They created brand new strategy guides that look like Nintendo Power strategy guide for each of the games to give you tips and tricks. Is oh, of no. uh, reading Nintendo Power magazine. Yeah, it looks like Nintendo yeah. Power. So this is where you can find the game's original release dates, you know, sort of descriptions and then tips. And so it's like, oh yeah, you know, Rocksteady, you know, there's a secret way of beating him with Donatello, stand up on the crates and, and use the bow. Yeah. And we have these wonderful little illustrations, very Nintendo Power-y illustrations. Um, and uh, in fact, this is even interactive as well. So this has its own little custom watch movie. Oh, that's cool. Um, it's a custom movie that shows you like, you know, here, get up here, do this, <laughs> and you can beat Rocksteady. Uh, columns um, in the in the strategy guide, there's Donnie's do's and don'ts, um, in which he, you know, tells you not to try to jump <laughs> over this gap, which people like to do and, and, uh, and, and fail at. Just no, just walk right over it. Yeah. Uh, the Eclipse tips are all about um, the special things that you can do with this game. So this is telling you about the rewind feature. So you can just hold uh, LB on the Switch and when you're playing the game, you can rewind back a couple of seconds. Being able to rewind really helps with Turtles 1 because like Turtles 1 is like, sometimes you're just doing really good and then you just take a whole ton of damage. They have a watch mode where like, if you can't get past a certain level, you can switch to watch mode and it'll just play the game for you. Y'all know the level I'm talking about. Ninja Turtles 1 Seaweed. So it's like a, basically it's like a tool assisted speed run um, okay. that somebody put together that um, it basically like, it goes through the entire game, um, rel like not insanely quickly, but relatively quickly taking no damage. Um, so you can watch it if you want to say like, oh, well, what's the strategy for this boss? What should I do? That's um, oh, okay. Or just let it get past, like let's say we have a lot of problems with this mini boss, <laughs> you know, like, let the computer get past this. Okay, great. Well, now I'm just going to jump right in, hit Y. Oh, wow. And now I'm actually playing because it's not a video. It's like an <laughs> emulator speed run. That's insane. Now you, can't, now you can't turn it back on again from here. They have an entire amazing archive that they call the Turtles Lair that has so much stuff in it. We're talking box art of the games, instruction manuals. They got the music soundtracks. They got screenshots from various episodes of every version of Ninja Turtles on here. They've got promotional materials that were in like comic book ads. They got press releases. There's so much stuff on here. And then the Turtles Lair is the big thing. So this is the uh, this is the museum, you know, what would be oh called the museum gosh. in some other games. It looks just like the animated show. Yes. Oh yeah, Nickelodeon uh, made absolutely sure that uh, it looked exactly like the, the <laughs> Lair in the animated show. Um, so this is where the turtles keep their collection of uh, mint condition yes. video game boxes. <laughs> so it's uh, it's every box front and back for every game, oh, including the rare like Flat tournament scans, fighters really? stuff like that. Flatten scans, <laughs> flatten scans. Okay. Yep. You know, so you get absolutely everything. It's really all about just being able to see every detail, even like the little details of the Japanese boxes where they'll put they'll put stuff on the flaps. You know, 
I remember this one. This is like, oh my god, <laughs> TMNT. <laughs> uh, also, we have the manuals and yes. like every page, U.S. and Japanese manuals for everything. So These manuals are great. They have tons of good art in them. Um, advertisements. We went to the Strong Museum in Rochester, New York. I actually physically went there and found stuff like the original press release um, for the original Turtles game. Like Ultra is bringing out, you know, the Ninja Turtles game. There's just lots and lots of really cool, like behind the scenes type stuff. Like this was like a trade uh, publication they put out with like Raphael starring as the boss of Konami. <laughs> um, comic book covers not just from the originals but from a lot of the later comics as well just the covers not the full books um but it's really cool to look at those animated show screenshots from tv shows what? um wow. and you can and, and you can even see uh like this is turtle tracks from december 10 1987 and the important thing about this is that um it shows uh, a lot of the first appearances of the characters that appear in the games music soundtracks get out a turtles cassette listen to your favorite tunes and behind the scenes as well. This is the big one. This is where you have design documents from the original Japanese developers of all these games. And it's hundreds and hundreds of pages that show the original designs um, and how, how it all came together. Here we go. So this original sketch of the Technodrome and it shows, you know, in Japanese handwriting, of course, like it's describing um, what all the parts of it do. And assuming you can't read somebody's Japanese handwriting, we translated everything. Oh, cool. So you turn on the captions, zoom right in, and basically it's just like a description of like, you know, how these various parts of the game uh, work. And we did this for hundreds and hundreds of design documents. Um, here's the here's the big mouser boss fight, you know, here's, here's how it all works um, in many different languages as well. There's just so much stuff in all of this. Uh, we have a search function. So everything is like meta tagged. The Boogie Beetle from TMNT1, the Brawling Bikers, Chainsaw Maniac. Like we did as much research as we could to make sure we had all the right names for everybody. I want to see every uh, design document from a 8-bit game that features uh, Frank's two-leg battle walker. Okay, great, that's eight items. <laughs> and then you hit Y to search. And then there's Krang's two-leg battle walker, um, wherever it may appear. And this might be design documents, there it is. And it might be it, storyboards. Like here's like storyboards about how the cutscenes work in one of the Game Boy games. And uh, it doesn't appear in any manuals, I see. But it's like, you can, you can do it. Every like weird obscure enemy is in there. Roadkill Rodney is in there. Um, uh, some of the, you know, and then you can also search for pizza. <laughs> oh, wow. uh, 67 items uh, and then anytime pizza shows up oh that's amazing <laughs> oh, wow. and, that, and that extends if we go I think all the way back that the comic book covers will be involved in that too. it was like oh, screen nice. if, if, if there's pizza in a screenshot of the show they did do a sound alike for the Ninja Turtles theme song pizza power Pizza Power is intact from Turtles in Time Arcade. That's really cool. Both Turtles Arcade games, Hyperstone Heist, Tournament Fighter, Super Nintendo are gonna all be available to play online. They also said that Tournament Fighters on Super Nintendo has been optimized with the fighting game community in mind. So could we could we possibly see a Ninja Turtles at eSports? I'd be down for it. It's a cool collection. They basically said they think this might be the only time they can do this, so they went all out. They said Nickelodeon was down. They said Konami was down. So they were like, just in case we don't get this opportunity again, let's put as much stuff into it as possible. So August 30th, I've already, already pre-ordered the like Ultimate Collection. It's happening. I can't wait. So excited for that. Special shout out to Chris Kohler and the people at Digital Eclipse and Konami for giving us this exclusive sneak peek at Comic-Con.